Yo guys, how you all doing? Welcome back to another one of Jody's Beer Reviews. In this one, we're looking at Staropramme. From Czech Republic, Prague. Established in Prague. Um, this is 5% by volume. 660 ml bottle. And there's a bottle cap. Let's just get it open. <coughs> Pop it open right away, and then we'll give it a wee read. See what it has to say. This bottle opener is showing some wear and tear. I need to get a new bottle opener. Bit of bubbles there. Bead in the glass then. So, Staro Pramen. I've had this beer before, yes, I have. I like it. Last time I've, I've not actually had this in quite a while. Good few months of. A good few months, maybe a year, since I've had this, <clears throat> and I seen I seen it in the shop, and it was six sixty ml, big giant bottle like that. Yeah, big giant bottle like that. Off, I'm having that. So, what does it say here? Brewed with passion, using the finest ingredients, in including premium Czech hops, Staro Prime Premium, five percent alcohol volume. Brewed since 1869, when two visionary brewmasters set out to create a beer that would be a better than the next. Displaying true craftsmanship, Staropramen is brewed with passion using the finest ingredients including premium Czech hops and embodies the spirit of Prague in every sip. Um, but sadly, it's not brewed in Prague, it's brewed in the UK. It's brewed in the UK in a place called Burton on Trent. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Smell that from here. Ooh. Fresh bread smell. Um, it's gold. Nice gold colour. Good levels of carbonation. Mm, like, not, not fast, but there is a good bit of carbonation going on there. Gold colour, white head. Yeah, let's get the aroma. So, definite, definite fresh, fresh white bread smell. Mmm. Like if you walk into the supermarket early in the morning, when I'm getting the fresh bread out and ready and it's cooking and I'm putting it out. Yeah. Touch of women as well. Let's dive into this, this smells really nice. And I've not had this in a while, so, yeah. Cheers to everyone watching, thank you for watching. Let's drink Staropramen. Cheers. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> really cold this is ice cold that's lovely oh that's lovely nice mouth feel to it nice flavors there very flavorful beer. No. Nice hop, nice, nice hop forward beer there. Um, nice bitterness on the end, but the bitterness is not strong. The bitterness is, is in the mix, it's nice, you know. Um, there's nothing over the top about this beer in any way, it's perfectly well balanced. Well brewed, well brewed I would say, it's definitely well brewed stuff. Mm, I love that smell that's on this. White bread smell, fresh white bread. Do 
tiny bit of a skunked aroma as well. That's nice. No, I wouldn't say the beer's skunked actually. It's got that kind of same kind of twanginess smell, twangy smell, like a zesty smell, bitter smell, hoppy smell. Um, along with that fresh white bread. Cover this up. Yeah, I like this a lot. I do like this beer. I'm glad I bought it actually, because I've not had one in a while. Not had a sterile pramen in quite a while. And it's nice stuff. It's nice stuff. And it's a nice looking bottle as well. Nice looking bottle too. Sterile pramen. Nice looking bottle. Nice, nice writing. There's the back. If you want to be neat in the back, there you go. Not much to say on there though. And I did read it anyway. Still a good bit in the bottle too. This is a 660ml. Uh, I think they're just calling this a lager. Sterile Pramen Premium. I think they're calling this a lager, but do you know what? It makes me a bit of a... It's what got the same kind of vibe as a Pilsner. Um... If you would hand me this and tell me it's a Pilsner, I would believe you. It's got a nice sweetness to it as well, a nice sweet malt. See, sometimes even just taking a tiny wee sip here. Taste that sweetness. So that's a strong sweet malt there. This stuff is just so smooth, so crisp, so easy drinking, um, enjoyable flavours going on there. I can still taste it, you know, the flavours don't just disappear or anything, the flavours are there. Definite zesty vibes, lemon, lemon peel in there I think. So I've got a roast barley, a bit of a bit of spices going on. Um, there's a sweet spiciness going on. There is a hoppiness there as well, sharp hoppiness, um, spiciness, like the kind of spice. Like maybe ginger. I wouldn't say it's ginger beer like, but it's got kind of that kind of spice. A bit of pepper. Maybe pepper, not not ginger. Maybe pepper. It's peppery on the end. There's a lot going on there, guys. There's a lot going on in this bottle in this six sixty ml bottle. I'm gonna try and fill this up. And still got some left, you know. It's a good bottle, it's a big giant bottle. <laughs> uh, I should have brought my I should have brought I should have brought up my tanker to do this with. Um, anyway, so the artwork of the bottle, by the way, I really like. So I would give the artwork of the bottle a straight up um, nine out of ten for the artwork. Final grade of the beer. Beautiful man. So drinkable, so easy drinking, so fresh. It's fresh stuff. I don't know what the date is on it. Never thought to check that out, but I can tell on my palate that it's fresh. Trust me, it's fresh. You know. Um sterile pramen is great. I love it so much. Um I'm gonna give it a straight up 9.8 out of 10. 9.8 out of 10 for Staro Pramen. From Czech Republic, even though it's not exactly from Czech Republic, it's brewed in the UK, but hey, I still like it, it's still good, you know. Um, but I would prefer to try the actual Czech Republic version. Maybe I have already, I don't know. As I said, I've not had this in like a year. <sighs> a year, the best part of a year, I've not had that. So, yeah, guys, 9.8 out of 10 for Staro Pramen. Mm. 
so tasty. That's beautiful, by the way. Beautiful stuff. If you've never had this before, get out and get that bot. Definitely. If you've never had that, get your ass to the shop and try it. It's definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. It's definitely worth it. It's better than... I mean, this is this is calling itself a lager. I think it's more like a kind of lager. It's like a, it is like a lager and it's like a pilsner as well, in a way. It's kind of like a pilsner. It's got that same kind of DNA. Um, for, for a lager, it's better than, you know, your standard lagers out there. Definitely better. Like, it's better than Bud. You know what I mean? It's better than Carling. It's better than Foster's. It's better than fucking John Smith's. <laughs> I'm not a fan of John Smith's. Don't like it. Don't like Carling. Don't like it. I don't like... I like Budweiser, actually. I like Bud. And I can... Nah, I'm not really a fan of Foster's either. Um, I used to drink Foster's right enough, but, you know... When you're on your beer journey, you realise some things. And this thing is a good thing. This is brilliant. This is quality. This is high quality stuff. Definitely. It definitely is. You still have that taste in your mouth. The taste lingers. And the smell is so potent. It's really good brewed stuff. High quality. Brilliant. Hi, top tier, top shelf beer. 9.8 out of 10, guys. I feel like giving it a, a 10 out of 10, but 9.8, 9.8 to 10. I would say around that area for me. Love it. Absolutely love it. So, thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys in the next one. <laughs> Goodbye.